want to get more into uh, the relationships and the unique challenges that uh, black women may face. But uh, first, um, here's another clip that I want to show. The locale, sorry-ass husband, who I said, don't marry, couldn't keep his feet in his pants and went and slept with a white woman. Then the fool goes and kills the white woman. Okay, now I, I apologize for showing these obscure clips. That was from a show called How to Go Away with Murder. I don't know if you ladies have seen this show. <laughs> It's another really one of these aged. bro shows. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but they're talking about interracial dating, you know. And Issa, I wanted to ask you about this because you brought this up in your book. You had some I funny did. things to say about this. Uh, do you feel that's a unique challenge in, as a black woman in dating? I say that black women and Asian men are at the bottom of the dating totem pole. Oh Nobody God. wants to eat it. It's true. Like, ask, ask around. And the, I think that the, the, the dating the totem dating pole, totem pole Wait, we're at the bottom. Mean? Go to go to match.com, go to anyone, and you'll see the least chosen is People say Shaquanda that Wanda and Lee. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, but on but Tinder, they don't On Tinder, they tell us. you they're, they're yeah. statistics. But I do say that the more educated the black women uh, tend to go, and I, mm -hmm. this is speaking from my own college ex college experience. I, my friends and I, my girlfriends and I, would find that the guys, the pool of guys was so limited. Mm. And it was, they knew that they were a catch. They knew they were educated, they <laughs> weren't in jail, they didn't have kids, so they were like, we have options, so it worked for us. And that made it unappealing. Right. So we tend to either, you know, it, feel it's hard isolated? to Feel isolated and mm -hmm. feel like discouraged from pursuing, I guess, black love. And now, trying to Jackie, find outside I know you've been pretty public about your, your dating travails. Yes, you know, I have been, Larry. And, and you, <laughs> <laughs> And you are an educated woman, right? Thank you. As, as they say. What are some of the obstacles from your point of view on this? Um, with dating sure. interracially? Yeah. I think, well, for me, I mean, I think that the numbers for a website like Match.com are kind of skewed because I think a lot of black people don't go there, so they're polling people that aren't necessarily showing up. Um, you know, because I love that you look at shows like Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder mm -hmm. and other shows out there, and black women are dating interracially and very desired. Um, I don't think that's business. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, it's putting us out there as attractive. It's putting us out there as attractive, and I, I don't, I don't think we ever were not attractive. But I think. But, but do you feel like there's a small pool of candidates if you want to stay within uh, your race? Or if anything? you want to, I do. Uh -huh. I do. I feel like quality, you know, and I have standards. People want to mm -hmm. say that I'm picky, but I have standards. Mm -hmm. And I think finding a, and I think there's nothing wrong with that. But I think finding a quality black man is like finding a $100 bill on the sidewalk in Midtown Manhattan. <laughs> if it's there, it's not going to stay there long. And I'll give you a quick example. I had a girlfriend. All right, because the black me. men now are on Twitter. Now, yeah. <laughs> I had a girlfriend call Good me luck. and say, listen, this guy I went to college with, he's a doctor. He just got divorced. I want to hook you two up. And she was like, you know, I'm gonna do some home and try to get in touch. I said, no, 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 no. call him now. And she was like, she's like, well, I'll call him later in the week. You didn't want like, that hundred dollar bill to blow. Away. And and you know right. what? She said, all right, all right, I'll call him mm -hmm. now. She called him and called me back and said he's already seen that somebody. Is That's crazy. hilarious. I'm now, Marina, you. you you made jokes <laughs> about me. you made jokes about dating white guys though. Yeah. Do you I, get shade for that? I mean. Well, yeah, I'm. You know, I'm on YouTube. You can go and see it. And um, <laughs> I talk about dating white men and it's not like I'm excluding dating black men but for some reason they focus in on that I don't want to date black men like uh, my younger yeah. white boyfriend that I'm currently seeing is <laughs> always saying I like how she said to my younger <laughs> emphasis well, on younger I was going to say to you like if you want to just go young because mm. mm. okay. you can, you can raise them. I, I will say that. Now, wait, but Christina, wait, Christina, <laughs> wait, I want to hear from Christina. Cause Christina, you're married, both you and your husband have PhDs, right? So you're sitting here all braggy and gloaty, right? <laughs> she is the envy of the two. No, but I will say this. I just, you know, I want to make sure people don't think that black men are unicorns either. Exactly. Right? There are plenty. Thank you. There are, I'm, I'm not going to say a plethora, but... There, there are some, you know, and, and maybe, you know, uh, my thought process mm -hmm. um, when I talk men? to... Listen, everyone comes with some... <laughs> I'll let you guys fight <laughs> everyone, everyone, everyone comes with some assembly required. I'm not saying great. And Good. so sometimes it can be a few batteries here and there. Sometimes mm -hmm. it is a model airplane kit with no instructions. <laughs> and it depends on what you feel you want to do, do you right? Think, and how much effort you want to put into it. Do you it. think it makes a difference staying in a race or staying out? I don't think there's anything wrong with somebody wanting to date or be with somebody like them. I, Unless you're white, then it's racist. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I'm 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 so unfair, Larry. So unfair. I've seen, 
like black men and and friends of mine. We've been guilty of seeing like black men date outside their race, and you give them a like. You, you guys know, give black men a hard time. But, but when black I see men give black women, women a hard, hard time. time. There's a lot of black men that won't watch Scandal because just of that. because Kerry Washington's character is involved with a white man. And I will say, oh that no, I'm I never see, watching it. When, no, I see, no, when, no. when I see a black woman with a white man or with a uh, someone mm -hmm. outside the race, I tend to be like, girl, you get it, you right. try, because I know you try. Though. Oh, we have to also, ahead. again, think historically, mm -hmm. right? We know as a fact that in this country, black boys, that in third grade, that's when teachers start to fear them and they get tracked in remedial, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden, yeah. they are a threat to their teacher, they're a threat to their classmates. Mm -hmm. So we're starting this at a right. really, there, really there's young There's a whole age. lot of sociological yeah. uh, reasons, with, especially when you're talking about class, because you're talking about education. Of some people never get to be candidates because of that vicious right. cycle yeah. and that right. sort of things, and that's a whole, that's a much longer conversation. But I'm going to come back to the whole bossy thing that we mentioned <laughs> earlier. Does that touch a nerve? Absolutely, it sure does. And why does that touch a nerve? Because it's that? who's saying it. It's it's mm -hmm. bossiness and goes with the attitude that they say black women have, mm -hmm. and it's really in the eye of the beholder, mm -hmm. right? Right. The reason you say a black woman has an attitude or is bossy is probably because you've done something wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay? I love how uh, Larry. Marina. Larry. Marina is like 10 times blacker what she's talking about that <laughs> than what she's talking about her white boy. I'm going to make that clear. But Go I, I ahead, mean, Jackie. People, people want to look at black women and say that we're bossy, but in actuality, we have vision. Mm -hmm. And we see things. Like my bossy, you, to you, I'm being bossy, but I'm I just trying to give that. you help mm -hmm. about something that you don't think you need help about. Mm -hmm. So you think you don't want that help. I'm just trying to help you. That's not bossy. It, that's how what you think it is, is bossy. Well, you know, <laughs> I, the reason why bossy strikes a nerve sure. for me, because, yes. you know, as someone who has to advocate for herself mm -hmm. constantly, right, in a yeah. patriarchal white supremacist country, right, slash society, that's one. Mm -hmm. And two, mm -hmm. bossy is one of these words where if you're educated and you're black and you're articulate. Mm -hmm. And it's yes. one of those words and that other, is just, it's a, it's a backhanded, and, and the, articulate's a backhanded yes. company. Yeah, like and and, and the fact of the matter is, we all know the black families were torn apart for many reasons, starting with slavery, and women right. had to take the lead. Right. They had to be assertive and all those things. So I don't think black women should be penalized for it. I get the last word on that, right? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Hey America, follow The Nightly Show with Larry Wilmore on Twitter, but don't follow me home. I want followers, but I don't want followers. That's stalking.